and welcome to Daniel Workshop. What are we going to do today? Today I'm 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 trying to I'm going to try to repair this uh, cleaver, which is not a cleaver actually. It's a it's a uh, how do you call it? Not butcher's knife. It's a it's a chef knife. Yes, specific. Uh, I saw that a Chinese chef used this kind of cleaver for cutting vegetables, for cutting uh, meat. This is not for bones, and somebody mistaken it with a with a bone cleaver, and of course managed to to damage it, very very bad. So today I'm going to repair it. See the damage. Okay, today I'm going to repair it, and I'm going to use this uh, this uh, disc grinder to remove, actually to reprofile the the knife and to remove the these uh, chips, and then after I'm going to sharpen it. So, uh, let's get to it. So the grinding is done. I've did it with the with the uh, P80 grid sandpaper. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes to to take all the all the chips out. You can see the where the material has some kind of um, warpage, but we're going to remove that when we sharp it. So what I'm going to do is to reprofile the knife on the on the grinding wheel. I'm not going to use a stone because by using a stone it will take me a lot. So I will be placing the knife at about 15 degrees and gently pull it one side and then the other. So I finished with the with the reprofiling. I have burr on this side. It was done on 80 grit. And as I was doing it, I was thinking, <laughs> guess what I was thinking? I never tried it. There is a lot of burr on it, but still it cuts. So I was thinking to do this knife completely on power tools. I mean, I'm going to use this uh, 150 grit to polish it and then, no, no, to refine the edge and to polish it, I'm going to use a felt uh, charged with a, with some ab abrasive. Uh, let me look for the felt. So I found the felt. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and see, I've used my goggles use it to use protection and every time i'm going to replace this 80 grit with 150 refine the edge and then so i've used the 80 now i'm going to use the 150 and i'm going to refine the edge and then polish it on this and do sharpening with power tools no hand tools okay <laughs> see how it goes
Okay, so I've done a, I've done a little, let's call it refinement, and now I'm going to strop it on a manual strop, on a pedal strop, and then I'm going to polish it on the felt pad. So, let me tell you something. My idea to make everything, to do everything with uh, with power tool became a total and utter... <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Let's say it didn't work. It doesn't cut at all now. So, what we're going to do now is break out the sharpening stones. I mean, I made all this mess. <laughs> Look. And not very, I mean, yeah, it worked well on the, on the, uh, how you call it, sandpaper, but uh, with the, with the polishing pad, it seems like I, uh, I've damaged the, the edge. I don't know how to use it, apparently. So, anyway, we're going to back, going to back, uh, go back to the basis, and we're going to sharpen it with the, with the sharpening stones. So, let's change the scenery and be back with the stones. So, I've changed the scenery and we're going to sharpen it. And like I show you, it's almost not, not cutting now, but the the profile is... Uh, it's done. Yeah, and I'm going to use uh, the 1000 and the 5000. What do we have here first? I have a new uh, global Sharpening system designed by F Fumikara Hara, made in China, of course. <laughs> the the support, but the stones, the stones from the global set are uh, Shapton stones, Shapton F M5, the M5 120. This one we are not going to use it. Uh, Shapton M5 1000 and the 5000. So we're going to use this to resharpen the the. No, to reshape, but to refine actually the edge. So I'm going to use first the 1000 and then uh, I'm going to use the 5000. The 5000 has the <laughs> not so famous spider cracks. But even if it has, see the cracks? Even if, if it has the spider cracks can be used without any problems. So, uh, Let's do it. And if you have questions, just leave, leave them, leave them down.
So, let's wrap it up. <laughs> it took me about two hours, all in all, to finish this uh, this uh, cleaver. Uh, came out pretty good, quite good. I mean, comparing with what it was, I've got to wash it. Should wash it a little, but more or less, it's done. So I started using the using the sandpaper. This sander, it went well. Uh, it, it received a very, very good edge. But then I've decided to put it on the felt. And what a mistake! <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake. I've ruined all the edge. So I said, okay, let's get back to what we know. <laughs> and I pulled out the stones. And I finished it on the stones. Uh, the stones that I used, it's a it's a global set. I told you. Put it aside. See, global set with the with the support. Uh, I bought it off of eBay. Uh, the seller, let's say, forgot to say that the five thousand has the famous spider cracks, but you saw that. Even with those spider cracks, they don't, I mean, they didn't bother me at all at sharpening. Yes, they don't look very good. Yes, they, in the long run, they might give you problems, maybe. But, see here, I have another example. Spider cracks on a P5000, Professional 5000, Naniva Professional 5000, spider cracks. And <laughs> spider cracks on a Miyabi 5000. This is the Chosera, actually, Naniva Chosera 5000. I've used all of them, they don't bother me at all. I mean, those spider cracks, yes, they are there, you can see them, but the stone works without any problem. I mean, it's, it's superb. It's a very, very nice stone. Also the Chosera, also the Professional, also the Shepton. So yeah, uh, long run, don't know. If, I mean, see the cracks go down on this one. Maybe with time, the stone might crack all the way, but now it's okay. And I think the big, big problem is that whoever had it, the set, uh, kept the stones in the water. They say on uh, on a Shapton site not to submerge them at all. So just splash and go and dry them as quick as possible after you finish. And they, they won't give you problems. But if you don't dry them completely, if you keep them in water, yes, with time they will give you problems and those cracks might, might become problematic. But till then, it's a wonderful stone. It works perfectly. And I see also on uh, Virtuo Vice, I think, uh, channel, he had some, a set. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know now it was, if it was the professional, 3000 professional or the Shapton. I think it, he had the, the Naniva. No, he had the Chosera who had cracks. So anyway, uh, the knife came out pretty good. It's not a cleaver, it's a knife. <laughs> so I'll tell the guy now, it's not mine. I'm going to sell it to somebody and I've already told him, hey, watch out, this is not a cleaver. This will, I mean, it has a very, very, very good, good uh, steel in it. It's uh, about 60 to 62 Rockwell. I mean, very, very hard steel but very hard steel uh, gets a very very nice edge uh, the edge keeps a very very nice edge with time but the problem is if you don't if you're not careful with it it will chip so that's it for today uh, let's not forget about uh, the what i told you ha i need to tell you something something funny uh, someone left me a comment i talk and i chop the paper because i like to chop i like I like to chop the paper after I sharpen the knife. So somebody looked at one one of my movies and he said, "Oh damn!" He he wrote me, "You sound like Gru from Despicable Me." So I said, "Who's that Gru? Who's that Despicable Me?" So I went 
I went and I checked. I checked. Uh, <laughs> I googled it and I saw that it is a cartoon character. <laughs> and to be honest, I sound like him. <laughs> but I'll take it. I mean, it's a famous character, <laughs> and I'll take it. It's like the I'm watching the how it's called. Not rules of engagement yes and that's the one of the characters there uh, he he said the same thing when he was compared with uh, with steffi graf he said yeah famous person yeah i'll take it no problem so <laughs> same with me yeah you compare with with crew i'll take it it's a famous character no worries i'll take it so that's it for today. So let me tell you why he said I'm I'm like Gru because the first movie that I saw was <laughs> on YouTube with Gru was with him laying down the rules. So let's lay down the rules. First thing first, like, second, subscribe, third, comment, and fourth, share to your friends. So like Gru, <laughs> these are my rules. <laughs> So anyway, I had fun today. Uh, yeah, it took me, like I said, about two and a half hours. I should have uh, stopped and not used the felt, but <laughs> we learned. So that's it for today. Uh, see you next time. Take care.